Yeah, it should be nice. Beautiful out there. See you later, Chris. <laughs> Have a great day. Yep, you too, guys. Enjoy. Remember, Tesco is just down there. Yeah. All right, mate. You ready, hun? See you later, Well, we've just uh, taken uh, Chris and Nigel to uh, Mai Tsai Immigration. Because they didn't know where it was. This is the first time I've ever actually been here as well, so... Um, not a bad little place, nice, clean and tidy. It kind of reminds me of Phuket, though. It almost looks identical to Phuket in terms of uh, its layout. But my, uh, but may say is a lovely place. It really is. So, again, so much to do here. If you come down, there's the uh, market, and there's just so much going on. And of course, right here, you're right on the border now between uh, Thailand and, and uh, Myanmar right down the end there you can see a really big uh, grey building and that's the uh, border control and what do I have to do here somewhere you turn around <coughs> I'm not going up there today some very sad news I'm afraid this morning um, as you know we've uh, acquired a, a new kitten and uh, it got called Dangmo funny little thing she is and uh, I refer to her as 47 because it's like an assassin well the other day she went across the road and uh, it wasn't the fact she crosses the road it's the fact that there's uh, four dogs opposite and they're not very nice well she did it again last night and uh, the four dogs had her and killed her I heard the commotion and uh, I ran outside and uh, it was too late by the time I got there she was already gone. So I've said to Pi, you know, that's it, that's enough, I, I don't want any more uh, cats and I don't want any, any more dogs. It just, it's just heartbreaking, I just can't deal with it. Especially, you know, when they're, they're small like that little kitten, it just, you know, just broke my heart. So uh, that's uh, that's that. This morning we took uh, Dangmo to the farm and uh, buried her there. So it's peaceful there. So I'm hoping she'll be at peace. Kind of feeling under the weather again today. I don't know why. Maybe it's uh, because of uh, the loss of a cat. But. Um, I don't know, this flu just just seems to linger and I can't really seem to shift it. I'm, I'm taking all the pills that the doctor's given me. <coughs> the coffee's not as bad. But, you know, I just feel weak, really weak. I think it could be that, you know, I'm just not eating enough and uh, because I've lost all my appetite. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to start sort of forcing myself to eat. On the smoking front... I uh, read a book, How to Quit Smoking, by Alan Carr, and uh, it's a very psychological thing, and, you know, these things generally are, you know, you're fighting an addiction. So uh, I read it, and it certainly helped. I had one cigarette this morning, and that was before I actually read the book. I couldn't get hold of any nicotine patches in our local pharmacy, which was quite surprising. So, um... got to do it today I've, I've sort of set my mind to it I had one this morning and then I read the book and I you know sort of prepared myself mentally if you like and uh, of course that's the, the main key to it you know willpower is one thing but you've got to be mentally prepared for it it's been quite a few hours now since I've had a cigarette it's been uh, nearly four and a half hours and uh, 
normally I smoke, you know, one an hour, sometimes more. But I actually don't feel that bad right now. Pi said to me that uh, I've got no colour in me. He said, you know, you do look really pale. But smoking will do that to you anyway. But when you're not feeling well anyway, you know, it just adds to it. So, uh, hopefully this will be it. It's not a bad little ride out to uh, Maasai. It's... Uh, roads are nice beautiful day some good news on the accessories front for our motorcycle <coughs> we got a call from Kawasaki and uh, the accessories such as the uh, panniers and top box etc should be with us in a few days time so we'll be taking a trip up to uh, Chiang Rai and getting those fitted it'll make the bike even more practical because then we'll be able to go to um, town and do shopping and fill up the panniers. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I know Pa is looking forward to uh, getting the panniers on. She really likes the way it looks. And of course it you know, serves as uh, a very functional aspect to the bike. See, they uh, do like to uh, load up their trucks. Just amazing they don't topple over though. Well, I, I mean they do on occasion, but I mean, look at it. Unbelievable. And on a windy day like this, and it is pretty windy. Um, you know, it's got to be really perilous. This is a particularly nice little village. They've got a really nice temple up here with a big sleeping Buddha. I'll see if I can catch it as I go past. It really is nice. I've actually uh, featured it on one of the vlogs. I can't remember which one though. this uh, little village takes a lot of traffic going through it because obviously it goes into Maysa itself but it's a nice place it really is just trying to remember at the moment where the temple was I think it's just a little bit further up here Yep, there's a temple coming up now. And you'll be able to see the sleeping Buddha. I'll just uh, slow it down and see if you can see properly. I'm sure this is the one. I could be wrong. <coughs> it could be a different temple, and if it is, it's one further up. This is the back end. No, it's this, definitely this one. It's got to be. Yeah, you can just see her in there. There you go. I hope you saw that okay. If not, I'll stop one time and uh, do another vlog on it. I have actually got it on another vlog, but I can't remember which one it was. It could be the one titled uh, Maze Shopping. Shopping in Maze, I think it was. You get some beautiful views here though. We're now heading um, towards the Golden Triangle on our way home. 
and then it's only approximately five kilometres to uh, Chengzheng town and then from where we live is 20 so we're not too far from the Golden Triangle itself what I truly love about this place though it's so green everywhere you look there's so much natural beauty here just look at the landscape it's unbelievably stunning such a fabulous place to ride a bike it really is an absolute joy now you have to be careful just here because as you come around this bend all of a sudden you're caught by a checkpoint it can catch you out if you're riding a little bit too quick so you do have to be careful this one is generally manned but not today You'll find uh, that uh, the police officers and the army personnel that uh, man these checkpoints are very, very kind and courteous. They're not there to, uh, <coughs> you know, just get you for anything. They're generally just making sure, you know, where you're going and where you came from. And but, you know, again, they're looking for, you know, people um, transporting drugs and uh, illegal immigrants. That's basically what they're looking for up here. I've never had uh, any problems with any of the officers or army personnel here. They've always been more than kind, courteous, polite and professional. So, uh, yeah, no complaints at all. How about that for a view, though, eh? Isn't that beautiful? It's just stunning everywhere you look. You just you can't beat it. You really can't. Uh, I'm sure you agree that in itself is a pretty spectacular view. But as you go round the bend and then uh, you get this view, it's just unbelievable and you're at the highest point here it's just lovely you can see the Mekong River there isn't that lovely It's one of my favourite hills to go over that is because the views are so nice as you get to the top. As you can see from here it's just beautiful, the Mekong running through. And now we're just one uh, kilometre from uh, the Golden Triangle. It's a busy place, I mean there's lots and lots of tourists that come here. It does hold a fascination, you know, it's history. And what still goes on, I mean it still goes on, the drugs trade is, um, you know, still prevalent. And this is one of the reasons why there's so many checkpoints up here, you know, they're trying to stamp it out. And today there's a funeral in town, so they're blocking off part of the road these funerals can be a really big affair depending on how important they are and there's uh, all the people attending the funeral and it's the coffin just here so that comes out of the golden triangle we're out of there and we're now heading back towards uh, Tenzin town as you see just everywhere you look in Tenzin it's just nice and tidy they just try and make uh, it just that little bit more beautiful that little water feature there 
and look at how well the grass has been cut it's just a little touches that make all the difference and I said the other day it shows just how much they care about their town just a lovely shot of the uh, Mekong River though absolutely beautiful Now I'm going to go to my uh, noodle shop and uh, get a takeaway. It'll be for something for a bit later when I'm getting a bit hungry. Like I said, appetite is still not back to what it was, but I know I need to eat. Oh, look at the BMW guys. Very, very nice. Mm, that is a beautiful thing. Not the sort of car I'd want to own but uh, I can appreciate the, uh, the beauty of it. Another one there. Eh, must be uh, BMW day somewhere. Quite like BMWs, quite nice uh, motor vehicles. I quite like the, um, <coughs> the BMW 6 series, especially the convertible. Rather nice. Wouldn't want to own one, but uh, nice. Well, lit one is sitting there eating crab. Look, that's the uh, crab that Dad caught out the stream the other day. There was loads of it. He loves it though. He does like his crab. Yeah, a bit of a sad day as well because of uh, the loss of uh, Dangmo, but, um, you know, there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, she's gone and, uh, yeah, she's been buried, so uh, hopefully she'll just be in peace now. Well, that's about all from Pi and I today. Whatever you guys do, have a fantastic day and stay safe. And don't forget, please subscribe, share and like. It does make a huge difference. And Pi and I, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now, guys. See you tomorrow.